Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, November the 24th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. And before I forget, thanks to about the 300 or so folks that uh, came to Storm Alert Extreme yesterday. We appreciate your interest in learning more about severe weather. There's a look at our SkyCam network this morning, and there's Birmingham looking out over a uh, chilly morning as we see some high cirrus clouds passing through the sky, and we expect a mostly sunny day. And a beautiful shot down at Gulf Shores with the sun peeking under the clouds down there. In the upper atmosphere... Uh, the cold air arriving as a result of that uh, trough over the eastern part of the country. But uh, in addition to that, we're coming under a bit of a ridge as that big bowling ball of a closed low approaching the Four Corners area begins to come out. And that could uh, produce some interesting weather across the southeastern U.S. and produce some travel problems for Thanksgiving travelers. At the surface for today, high pressure settles in over about St. Louis, and that will be migrating uh, eastward fairly rapidly. Temperatures very chilly this morning as uh, we have a pretty much an Arctic air mass, lots of single digits down into uh, uh, Iowa and uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin area. And uh, you can see the blues are uh, below freezing, so uh, below freezing over much of the country. Rather chilly around central Alabama, much of central Alabama at or just slightly below the freezing mark. Uh, we're in the mid-20s up in the Tennessee River Valley and around 30 to 32 in central Alabama and just south of the Birmingham area. Storm system that is expected to develop is already producing a number of winter weather advisories out in Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico. Now, the red areas that you see are also um, high fire danger warnings because of the low humidities. But in addition to that, those purple values, which many of those are underneath the, the reds since it's a layered kind of situation, they uh, uh, are, there are a number of winter weather advisories uh, out there for parts of uh, Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico. QPF-wise for rainfall, it looks like we're going to have a real soaker, especially on uh, Tuesday. And uh, we'll talk about how it begins and how it ends. And Storm Prediction Center is not outlooking any uh, area. And the tropics are quiet. All right, the 06 EGFS model run. So let's take a look at modeling. And there's the high pressure settling in over the central part of the country for today. And then it migrates uh, eastward over uh, eastern North Carolina, the Outer Banks, by uh, uh, Monday afternoon. In the upper atmosphere on Monday, we see that bowling ball beginning to come out. Um, it's uh, still uh, very close to being closed low on uh, Monday, but beginning to open up as it comes out. By Tuesday, we do see that it's phasing up with the northern stream, and uh, we, we once again have a closed low as it comes uh, uh, approaches the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. And down below that, we see surface low develop in the northwest Gulf and move along the Gulf Coast, and that's going to be uh, spread precipitation into the area probably uh, Monday afternoon and into Monday evening. And uh, there's a question as to what kind of precipitation that will be. Now, the GFS is suggesting that by Monday after, uh, pardon me, by Tuesday afternoon, we're going to be warm. So you see the 850 temperatures were well above freezing. And the model soundings also suggest that we're going to be warm. However, I think there's a possibility that we do see a little bit of a dry layer aloft, especially Monday afternoon. And that could result in some brief periods of sleet as the precipitation begins. The uh, upper closed low will migrate across the southeastern U.S. along the uh, Gulf Coast, and the surface low will move across north Florida uh, into the, the uh, southwest Atlantic and kind of become uh, somewhat of a double barrel uh, situation. So Wednesday, one of our biggest travel days, there's going to be a lot of precipitation all the way from you know, uh, southern Mississippi uh, all the way up into New England, so uh, could be impacting some airports. Now, looking at temperatures, it does look like uh, the cold air does arrive uh, Wednesday at midday. Uh, you see the 850, zero degree dipping down into southern Mississippi. So I think uh, from Jackson up towards Meridian and Tuscaloosa, I think we see our greatest threat for some uh, uh, 
precipitation switching over to some light snow or snow flurries before ending. And uh, looking at the different models and what they're suggesting, yesterday the NAM was suggesting uh, a little bit more, but now this morning uh, the NAM is suggesting that there won't be any uh, snow across uh, Alabama or Mississippi. The GFS, on the other hand, is still painting uh, some snowfall generally in that area from Jackson across Meridian and up towards uh, Tuscaloosa. So I, I think in these situations, the precipitation will be light. So no matter what happens, uh, it's not going to present a major um, obstacle to travel for us around here. And, you know, just a little bit of excitement with maybe some snow flurries, but nothing too exciting to worry about in the way of accumulations. Of course, for the area up into New England, they could have a bit more in snow. Now, as we head out into Turkey Day, Thanksgiving Day, we see that the uh, closed low along the Gulf Coast moves uh, becomes an open trough, an open wave, and moves up into uh, the um, uh, just off the mid-Atlantic states, and that takes the closed low at the surface uh, all the way up into the uh, extreme eastern part of Canada and uh, takes the front off the coast and that brings in you can see that cold air coming in and so things should be nice for turkey day uh, although travelers may still be getting places on thursday morning by friday uh, the pattern has uh, weakened somewhat over the southeastern u.s as we come more or less under a kind of a weak ridge and we see that ridge uh, bulge up a little bit on saturday a week from yesterday and then by sunday we see that uh, we've kind of once again got a little bit of, of a near split flow with a nice strong trough moving across the Great Lakes, but one hanging back over the southwest U.S. And so that means that probably to our west we'll see moisture once again increase. And uh, so it looks like uh, at least the weekend uh, with Black Friday and all that should be a quiet uh, time for weather across the southeastern U.S. The weather pattern stays pretty progressive in, into the week two period. We see another strong short wave that uh, is moving through the flow around the 4th, and so that could present some additional uh, precipitation for uh, parts of uh, the southeastern U.S. and for Alabama. We see another uh, strong short wave moving through the uh, Oklahoma Panhandle area by the, the 7th, Saturday the 7th, and then again when we get out to the 9th, we have another one. So the flow not particularly highly amplified, so not anything especially real cold, but it does look like uh, we'll see periods of uh, rain off and on throughout the uh, week two period. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. I hope that you have a great Sunday. James Spann should have the next edition posted first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, hope that you have a great Sunday and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.